Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Well, today we're back to the Warped family of cigars. And this is their new one, the Flor de Valle. And I'm sure I'm butchering that. Skyflower. 7 by 40 Lancero. Look at that thing. It is one long pencil. And by the way, there's the density. Very nice looking cigar. Has a good feel in the hand for a Lancero. There's the old uh, uh, band that we're used to seeing on the Florida Valier. By the way, I looked up how to say that and I don't think I'm saying it right yet and I heard it. But, we're, but you know what I mean. This is the third size this cigar has been made in since it was started by uh, Kyle Gallus. Now, I've got to be honest with you. I've had, um, this is my fourth one. This is the review cigar. I've had three. I bought these, or these arrived on the 11th of January. Um, shortly after getting them, maybe a week, I had one and it was really tight. Very, I mean, you couldn't hardly, you couldn't draw very well through it. I had to relight it several times, which kept going out. Had one a week or so later, kind of the same situation. So I was getting concerned. This week, nearly a month after receiving them, I had another sample and it drew fine. So I'm hoping that this one will draw fine. What that's going to tell us if this does draw fine is that when you get them in, you're probably going to have to let them rest about three weeks or a month. Of course, you can always try them and see what you get, but that's my experience. Now, as far as the flavors, they were fine, and I'll go over that with you. But what we're going to get to is this cigar today. Now, let's get to what it's made of. Uh, of course, it's made in the Aganorsa factory. From what I gather, it is a Nicaraguan Puro. It's a Crojo 99 wrapper, a binder of undisclosed origin or what have you. And um, Corojo 99 and Criollo 98 fillers. Of course, it's an offshoot of the Florida Valle line, uh, which is, uh, it, it adds uh, medio tempo leaf, a higher priming tobacco not found on every plant. So uh, made by Aganorsa, I'm, I'm rambling here, $16. $16 a piece is what this uh, uh, suggested retail price, manufacturer suggested retail price is. Comes in boxes of 10 for 160. So um, that is the very long and uh, not so short of it. But this is a nice cigar. It has a good feel in the hand. It looks really nice. And you can see how well made it is. But now more importantly is what does it taste like or how does it draw? So let's get right to it. The new Florida Valle Skyflower from Warped Cigars. All right, I might need a drum roll here for this uh, cutting. Okay, not so great. Believe it or not, you can use your perfect draw tool and even a Lancero. So I will, and I'll be right back. Okay. That'll do it. Just for the record, I'm that far in. That's pretty good. So we should be able to fire it up now.
flavors are a nice cedar. Brown sugar, white, a bit of a uh, very thick nutmeg. Some light leather notes. A black coffee base. But what you're going to really notice, and what I'm really noticing right now, is the massive amount of black pepper. The black pepper now, at light up, is probably eight and a half. Tremendous amount. And that's okay, because I'm a black pepper fan. But I'm telling you, it's loaded. Now, the cigar, as I told you, the very beginning of this video has a very good feel in the hand, which could mean it is very packed with tobacco, which is why it doesn't draw well. It's doing fine now because I use these perfect drawing. We're, we're good. That's what it's made for, so that's this is the case you may be using it a lot. But that's how you start. Very nice, sweet start. Extremely peppery, though. Worth noting. I'm going to enjoy it. First third, not burning perfectly, but we'll worry about that uh, scoring later. The cigar is uh, basically like it started. The cedar, brown sugar, nutmeg, lots of it, lots of, uh, of earthy black coffee, lots of black pepper. But I would say that the black pepper has decreased. It's probably seven and a half now as opposed to the eight and a half that it started. Actually, I would say it's medium to full body right now. Cigar has nice flavors, but it's not overly sweet like a lot of the warp cigars are. This one uh, has a lot of nutmeg, and, and it, as you can see, it has power already. We're getting a really good burn time out of it, but it's not up there with some of the other warp cigars I've had. I'm starting off at 92. Now, um, I'll take care of the uh, draw issue with the scoring uh, at the end. So uh, that's going to be taken into account. I mean, that's something that four out of uh, uh, three out of the four have been that way. So it's got to be taken into account. But it's not bad. It's just it's got a little power and it's very earthy with, uh, with the, so much nutmeg and the black coffee. So let's just soldier on. Let's see what the second third has. How about that? Into the second third. And the leather, which I didn't mention in the last segment, which is there, it's now starting to move up with the nutmeg. So you're getting a very leathery nutmeg note. And the sweet notes are dropping. The pepper is still about seven and a half. Full bodied. The finish, which I also believe I didn't say anything about in the first third, is a heavy on the nutmeg, light leather, and pretty good lingering black pepper. But, uh, for an $18 cigar, this is not hitting the marks that it needs to. The second, third, I would drop it to 90. And I am hoping that this middle section is just a blip because it's not going in the right direction. We're getting a good burn time out of it. It's a land sale, remember. And uh, the draw issue is not perfect yet. I'm still having a lot of Res, uh, resistance on the draw and that makes it not so enjoyable so it's got some things working against it the flavors aren't that bad but it's uh, the sweetness dropping is not uh, to my liking but um, 
we'll see how the uh, final third pans out. Well, we're down to the end, so let's wrap it up. The earthiness and the leather and the nutmeg, you know, kept going in the same direction. The sweetness actually dropped a little more. There's hints of it, but not a lot. Full body pepper is still pretty good, you know, roughly seven and a half. Finish is unchanged. And the draw issue finally got a little better here at the end, but that's a little late. Final third, I would go with 89. It's, um, just wasn't hitting on a lot of cylinders there toward the end. So your uh, overall raw score is 90.33. I'm going to deduct a point and a half for the severe draw issues. It's just, I don't know what the deal is, but it's, just doesn't draw well. You've got to use the perfect draw tool, and even that is not going to make it 100%. Three out of four did that. So your overall score is 88.83. And I'm okay with that because it's just the draw issues and the elevated earthiness, nutmeg, leather, uh, black coffee at the end, and the de decline sweetness. Overall, that's what it is, 88.83. So there you have it, the new warped Florida Valier Skyflower Lancero, 88.83.